All right, we're going to go ahead and create our ladybug. You're going to take your brush, a new brush, and load it with red. Now, if you don't have red, then you can use pink. If you don't have pink, you can use orange. If you don't have orange, you can use yellow. We're not really worried about what the ladybug is gonna really look like. We're just gotta worry about the technique. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do a circular rotation on the inside of the wrist, like so. And fill it in. Again, if you have orange or red or yellow or pink, that's okay. Okay. If you want a deeper color, then let it dry. Go back over it a second time. From here, we're going to go with our black. Okay, with the black, we're going to outline our ladybug body. If you find that you cannot have a steady hand, take your pinky and lay your pinky down against the person's cheek when you're doing it on a person or just on your arm. and outline the body of the ladybug. Once you outline it, then you're gonna do a semicircle on one side for the head. It's got a little antennae. The wings spread apart to fly, so you're gonna do a C-shaped line down the middle. And then it's got its little ladybug polka dots. Some you can barely tell, some you can really see. Some are creeping out of the corner or the edge of the shell. And there you have it, there is your ladybug. Now, every time that you want to add a little something extra to your design, you add a highlight. So, of course, gotta let it dry. You're gonna add a C-shaped crescent on the head. And then you're gonna add a C-shape on the shell. Now the shell, it might turn pink, so it might have to go over it a second time. Just make sure to wipe your brush, and there you have it. Now the white is just for highlight, it's for extra, okay?